Now, I keep, <laughs> I keep getting asked, and this is from um, Dave Magic, from, Dave Magic. Dave, from um, Devon in the UK, but heaps of other people have asked. Hi Sam. There's something I haven't been asked before. I don't know. Can you ask Lee what he thinks of Rich Piana's 30 pound of muscle in four months? I have been asked this before, haven't we? I think to myself, Rich Piana's a big guy as it is. He it, seems to know what he's doing and stuff. To me, I just don't see the point in it. You know, if you're at that stage in your life and like Rich is getting older too, it's like, what are you doing it for? Like, so when you're already a big guy like you are, why put your body through that? Because I think someone said he was taking a huge amount of gear too. He posted his cycle on what he's doing. It's like, why put your body through that for four months to add all this weight just to do it? To me, it's like, okay, you can still train, have fun, and like I said, just have the size you are now and be content with that. But say, you know, I hope it doesn't, but just say he does this huge cycle and shit, does his 30 pounds, eating all this food, doing whatever, and he does some damage somewhere along the way, is it really worth it for that 30 pounds that you've put on in that couple, short amount of time? and you get some damage that's irreversible, was it worth it? So I just don't see the point in it really. If you're younger and you're still growing and stuff and you're aiming to put on weight over the few years doing it, fine, but when you're at that sort of point in your life where, okay, do I really need to do this? What's the point of doing it? Just to prove I did it and then once you put it on, are you gonna keep it on or are you just gonna lose it? So I just don't see the point of it now. But that's just me. He's probably got different aspects. I'm sure he knows why he's doing it, what he just wants to do it for, but you know, do the short-term gains outweigh the long-term goal type yeah. thing or whatever, so I just don't get it. I wouldn't be doing it just for that anyway, so. And what was the age when you sort of reached your, um, you know, the, the your, your, your maximum? Bulking. Or just Probably your mid to late 20s, like when I used to get bulked up, but I never like went to say I'm gonna put on this much weight yeah. in this short of time, it's just like, if I had six months between contests, I mean the off season, I just eat whatever I like. So the longer I had between shows, I put on more weight. So the heaviest I was up to was 285. Once I prefer to diet again, generally times before that, I might only be 250 or 260. So it just varied on how many months I had between shows. And like I said, I wasn't force feeding myself or trying to say I'm going to put on 30 pounds. It's just what ever weight I was at when it came time to diet again was whatever weight I was at. So, but you never did you ever say to yourself or oh, oh, was it at this competition or was I weighed this much next time I compete I, I need yeah. to have this I much more about weight as long as to me it was like coming in looking the best I could and if it was coming in at say 215 one show then the next show I come in at 210 I wouldn't care as long as I was in the best shape I could be in that sort of mattered the weight's irrelevant when you're up there so that didn't bother me at all some guys always want to get bigger and bigger and yeah. keep saying that but Conditioning is the main thing, and like I said, if you come in condition, you can look bigger than what you are, and that's the main thing. It's all an illusion. So, no, I never worried about whatever I stepped on stage weighing. I never set a goal of, okay, I've got to come in a couple of kilos heavier. So you can't do that really, because as you diet and lose weight and do cardio and come in shape, you, can, you just whatever you look best. Yeah. You look your best. I, say I said I wanted to be 215, and I get to 215, and but I'm like, you know what, I could be a little bit harder. You know, I'd be stupid to stop there and just say, okay, I want to be 215, I'm going to yeah, stay yeah, 215. Yeah. I'd just keep dieting harder and until I drop down to maybe 210 where I'm going to look better anyway. So I just don't do silly stuff like that. And I think that's one of the best bits of advice that you've um, given, especially to young guys. Oh, after all these fucking videos and after all these questions, that's the best bit of advice I've fucking given. Oh, just from a safety oh. point of view as far as safety point of view would be yeah. wear your fucking seatbelt. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying there's guys out there that are going off. I've got to gain this much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, and, so, and, but like I said before, even if you gained a kilo or two a year, that is a lot of muscle when you lay out. Like I said, you go yeah. to a, you know, a butcher's and ask for a kilo of chicken breast or two kilos of chicken breast, that's a fair bit of meat. Yeah. And you distribute that over your body. So these guys that say, I want to put on 10 kilos or more than that, I said, they're just crazy. Sure, maybe one year you might when you're young and stuff, but then it's going to slow down. And yeah. like I said, if you can make a kilo or two a year of muscle, that's a good good gain. So, but then like I said even conditioning sometimes can make it look like you've gained that. So, just about being consistent and coming in condition. Don't worry about the weight. So. Yeah, and and when you just train, eat normal. Don't exactly. if you're taking drugs don't go exactly. mental like I said you can use drugs but don't abuse it there's a big difference so. and whatever happens will happen exactly 
Um, they try and say, like, I've got to be this weight or yeah. I've got to do this. Just if it comes dieting time, you diet down, you train, you do your cardio, whatever you're looking best at, that's what you compete at. So yeah. that's the best way to be. And then in the off-season, don't try and say, I've got to put on this much weight. Just go train your ass off, eat yeah. the meals that you got to eat, and then you whatever you weigh, you weigh. It's uh, simple. It's yeah. not rocket science. Yeah. Otherwise, I wouldn't do it. Yeah. Well, I think back to the, the other question <laughs> about getting older and... You know, if you're just putting on more weight, whether it's fat or muscle, it's just... Hey, so you're not going to keep growing forever, are yeah. you? Yeah. So, if you had a 21-inch arm in your 20s, you're not going to be 31 inches yeah. in your 30s and <laughs> keep going and going. So it comes a point, even when you lift weights, your body gets to the point where you might be squatting super yeah. heavy or using max weights. Your body can only take so much before it's going to break or snap. So yeah. as you get older, you're not going to be still squatting 700 pounds like you did when you're in your 30s. So. Yeah, you just adjust your training and weights accordingly, simple as that. Or just shorten the range of motion and get exactly. more spotters. Exactly, I've seen that done. <laughs> <laughs> And wraps. Yeah, yeah. you still got a thousand pound squat in you. Exactly, but it's only two inches compared to what might have been all the way down. <laughs>